Let's start by understanding how to make a stunning photorealistic rendering. Rendering a scene creates a photorealistic picture that enables a client to truly visualize their final home. The photorealistic images are great marketing pieces that can be used on your website, in brochures, or for client presentations. Making a good image, however, takes an understanding of lighting, materials, rendering settings, and how they all work together. We'll begin by looking at the lighting aspect of a scene. Light plays an important part when creating a photorealistic view. Direct light and ambient light levels define the light that is reflected. Direct light is light that is emitted from light fixtures. It has a specific color, intensity, and direction. Ambient light can be thought of as general level of light that is everywhere in the scene. Every light in a scene contributes to the overall ambient light in a scene. In interior shots, the inserted light fixtures will determine the amount of light in a scene. Sunlight will also shine in from windows and provide light into the scene. Each light fixture can cast light in different manners. When choosing a light, be aware how the fixture will cast light. Let's look at the properties of lights to understand how the light is cast and how we can change settings for different types of lighting effects. Select one of the fixtures and then right click and choose properties. In the interior lighting dialog box, click on the lights tab. The light source is listed. Here you can turn on or off the light. If the light is off, you will still see the fixture, but the light will not be illuminated. To the right of the dialog box, you will see a preview of the light. Part of the preview is a red dot. The red dot signifies where the light source is located. For light to illuminate correctly, it must be placed below the fixture so the light isn't diffused by the fixture block. As a tip, if you find that a light is shining too bright near a ceiling, would like to keep the fixture on, move the Z value of the light source down so it will say, still have light, but not as close to the ceiling. By clicking on the Edit button, you can choose a new light to associate with the fixture. If you find that after rendering a room it is too bright, then change the wattage of the light. Each of the light sources listed also carry information regarding the light color. Choose a light in the light sources list and then right click and choose Edit Light. The Light Source Properties dialog is going to appear. The color of the light is displayed and if you left click on the color swatch, you can choose a different color. For a natural light, choose a white light. For a warm glow in a scene, choose a light with an orange hue. Click OK once you've chosen the light color. Light manufacturers create IES files that simulate the light of their lighting products. If you download IES files from lighting manufacturer, you can load in the IES files by clicking on the load button and locating the files on your hard drive. Click OK to exit the light source properties dialog box and click OK again to exit the light sources dialog box. The lights can also be directed by tilting them up or down or left and right. This will also help to direct a light and focus it on a certain element in your model or direct it away from an area that may to have too much light in a scene. Click OK to exit the interior lighting dialog box. I hope that makes your Envisioneer work one step easier.